How long are you going to be, Claire? I don't know, like an hour and a half, two hours. Two hours? Mm. Okay, I'm just going to nip out for a bit, is that all right? All right, okay. Go on, mate. Fancy a cheeky knife? Oh, go on then. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> when you turned pro, what were you playing off round here? I did actually get down to plus five at one point. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say plus two and a half. I play off ten. So five. Six. Six. It's about right. Okay. What oh. was it you saying before big gym session last night? Mate, it was, it was big. <laughs> I'm, I'm so stiff. Hasn't hit a ball yet? That's my excuse anyway. Doesn't matter what the level, there's always an excuse on the first tee. Oh, I'll take that. That perfect, Jack? Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, I like, I like my like my home comforts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. I'll probably, max I can probably stay away for is probably like four weeks on, on without being home. It's nice when we've got all the events in Europe, I can go home in between the events. This leads me in nicely already to okay. sum up. <laughs> Is that because your missus says you have to come home? <laughs> I've got told of various people you're very under the thumb. No, not at all. Not at all. No, I'm, d I'm definitely not under the thumb. Definitely no? Not. No. I don't know who says that. Probably probably uh, Harry and Canter and Pepper and that. But... Yeah, all three. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's me that wants to get home. Not her saying, oh. Ah, right. Yeah. Is that because you know you have to? No, you no, no. You don't no, have not, to say it. Not at all, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> Skimping on rakes. Yeah, oh, probably. A couple. <laughs> probably been nicked or something. Strike. Well, it's out. <laughs> Must have been a bad lie. It was a horrendous <laughs> lie. Oh, wait, we were actually on temporary. Yeah? Temp time. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually specialise on temps. <laughs> well, because it's just a bit of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is it sat down again? Yeah. What are we doing? Are we doing a, a club, club length gimme? A what? Club length gimme. No, I hold everything. Oh, f Green, because look at it. F me. <laughs> Can't, I, I, I actually don't know what to do. You've got to just part everything. Mini spider, everything. The mini spider's built for temps. Can, can, I, have, can I have the pin out, please? Oh, he's taken it I've, out. I've got a good feeling. <laughs> I don't it, know, I'm reading. It's no like point. Nicholson taking it out on temps. There's no point even reading From downtown. That. I need the pin in to backstop. Because it could go fast or slow. Yeah, what are these running at? <laughs> oh, they're a bit quick. Oh, I'll take that. Do I make you part that? No, I think. That's got to be a gimme, isn't it? Even that is a gimme, yeah. Oh. I think they've double cut and rolled them, so. <laughs> I'll break. Oh, cool. Give it a go at least. Had to, you know. <laughs> oh, that's a nice hole. Yeah, it's dog, like a 90 degree dog leg right. That's my bait, that's my hole. The slice. The slice, yeah. Might have to go with this new gapper. But I was hitting on the range, this. It's a weapon, to be fair. That's one slice. That's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that could be spot on. Like Dustin, mate. <laughs> so he's on the number for the 64. <laughs> Not that I know what the number is. Oh. Look out. Oh. Oh. Just bobbled a couple of times. <laughs> Is that a gimme? No. What? Hmm. Hmm. That's, 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 I'll give you that. The pin is positioned on the bottom level. Yeah, there's, there's two big levels and it's, it's definitely on the bottom level. Because it's uh, not even on the green. <laughs> <laughs> so first time I met you was in Oman. So when you were on Challenge Tour yep. final, that was when you won it and the announcer called you Jordan Spieth. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't everyone Probably biggest, know? biggest moment of your career at that point. It, it was. And until he called you Jordan Spieth yeah, at yeah. that point. Yeah, because I, I spoke to him afterwards and he was like, he said he just had it going through his head. He was like, don't call him Jordan Spieth, don't call him Jordan Spieth. And then when he was Jordan Spieth, and he's like, oh, God. I was pissing myself. 
Yeah. Obviously, your approach Challenge Tour is a massive difference. Um, so going from that to, to Challenge Tour was just massive help getting onto European Tour with obviously all the travelling, um, obviously the, the bigger prize money, more cameras. Um, yeah, and, and, the, and the biggest difference was obviously just the travelling, living out of a suitcase week in, week out different hotels each week. Some random places um, on that tour as well, right? Yeah, like Kazakhstan, which is actually like the biggest event of the year for them. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a strange place. Um, we'll get on holiday, but. And even though you ripped, so you won both of the tours back to back, yeah. which is obviously impressive, but the Challenge Tour is a good level, right? Yeah. The guys are ripping around in well, 20 you, under, you, you know? See, you see Richard McAvoy yeah. wins Challenge Tour two weeks ago and then wins uh, European Tour last week. So it does show you that the guys that do come up from Challenge Tour do have the game to go on and win, so it's a great sort of stepping stone for everyone. Because that kind of, whatever you call it, the class of whatever, mm -hmm. that was with you, Foxy, yeah. uh, Pavon, Fratelli, Fratelli yeah. all have kicked on, yeah, exactly. all have either won or done very well, haven't they? Yeah, so yeah, it just, it just shows you that those guys that come through on the top 15 have learned their trade, so to speak, um, obviously playing for big prize monies, um, week in week out different locations and then that just gives you the experience to go on to the European tour and just do it over again. And you have a good crack with those boys because you're like you say you're living in a suitcase. Yeah. I remember catching a minibus back from the event with about a thousand golf bags, <laughs> the tiniest minibus with a million like all the caddies, all the bags and there's yeah it's just good crack on there because what else can you do right? Exactly yeah well did you see me and me Eddie and Laurie on the way back from um, the Irish Open to the airport in the hire car? So I mean that just that just shows you like obviously it was bit risky but um, yeah no it's, it's nice having a crack because obviously you get to know different people because um, obviously you play with different people you're on the same flight same hotels same transfers so you get to know new people each year and each week so and it passes the time right it, it makes it a lot more enjoyable if you're away from home you've been away from home for yeah. five weeks recently yeah. right yeah so obviously it was nice because we with it being UK we just Airbnb it and just got houses with um, obviously me, my coach, my trainer, um, Laurie and Eddie most of the time. Um, so work quickly while you're talking about Laurie, this is uh, what Eddie said, is that after you won the Porsche, you made him pay, Laurie pay splits on the hotel room, right? Technically, yeah, but I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like completely forgot about it. Obviously, um, it was just a bit of a whirlwind. I didn't know what was going on really, and I just completely forgot. So he ended up having to pay half it. I ended up having to pay half it, and I just get stick for it non-stop. For how long a year now? It's yes. It's still it'll still it will go on for ten years. <laughs> it'll it will still go on. <laughs> I'll, I'll never live it down. Right, one down. All right, another tenth. Oh, oh Jesus. Get, get over the water. It's getting right at the water. And get over. on. Oh, oh, oh. What a horrible strike. Oh. Bite. Oh. <laughs> well, you're on the green. Yeah, I wanted to putt from there, that's why. You right? Um, this so is you? weird, putting off a green onto a non-green. <laughs> <laughs> off a slate. Oh, I think I think you've judged it well. Sit then. How'd you stop it on that? <laughs> oh, Go no. on. Oh, stop, 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 stop. You gotta putt that. Oh, oh, you're joking me. How have you left that short? That's going about 50 <laughs> miles per hour, about six inches short. So you can have that one. I'll be, oh, cheers, I'll be, I'll be mate. nice. Oh, yeah, it was, it was awesome, obviously, to get that that first win and top 10 in the major. Um, it was just, and finish inside top 25 in the race of the bar was just, was just awesome, yeah. It was, um, I think it was just mainly because I wasn't going out there with any expectations. I was just going out there to uh, just play, just to play and see what happens. I think that's where this year's a bit different because I've gone out and expected to do expected well, results, rather, yeah. especially at the start of the year where I just put too much pressure on myself rather than just going and, and just playing golf. Because you got pipped for rookie of the year by that Ram bloke, didn't you? Yeah. Who's he? <laughs> no, but He's yeah. Tidy enough player though, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> no, there was a there was a bit of. Um, controversy about it on social media and stuff but it is what it is I guess yeah so what he did to be fair he did win exactly he Ireland and Rolex he? And, and the final yeah yeah so just only played like five events or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> but even so even to be in the reckoning yeah no even first even, year right yeah exactly yeah even to be 
well, just behind John Rahm on the on the rookie was just amazing as if well. If you're just behind John Rahm for the rest of your career, you're going to make a lot of money. Yeah. Not that you want to be just behind anyone. Right? No, no. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to be ahead of him. But yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Oh, is that a bit pulley? That is um, in the long stuff. Get in that tree. And you've uh, judged it perfectly. The biggest moment, I would say, obviously, would be your win, right? Yeah, no, 100%. So what was that week like? It was, it was actually very interesting because I was... It better bit, be interesting now. Well, not, not that interesting. <laughs> it was just the fact that it's not like how I prepare for a normal tournament because I, I had a bit of the man flu. You know, okay. that, that sort of stuff yeah. is, 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 is bad. Um, only played six holes in the practice round because it was just it was just raining so much then it was just flooded there wasn't much point being out there so then we played six holes my caddy went out and saw the rest and then we just got on with it and worked out nicely see that performance last year buys you kind of the opportunity to go out and play pick your schedule exactly yeah i think i played 32 33 events last year and it's just nice to did you say that was too many yeah yeah, um, so it's nice to sort of pick and pick and choose what what events I want to play this year and and stay fresher for the big ones. I think it was the USPJ, and I was watching on Sky. Ricky and Rory were walking off. Yeah. And they. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't Ricky. who's like, who's this dude? And he's like, it's Jordan Smith. Yeah, because I played um, play nine holes with Rory in the practice round, and we had a little bet go in, and well, down the last. A little bet. Yeah, we had hundred dollars going in down the last hole, and. I made four and then he sunk this 25 footer for the half and I was like, oh no, I would have got him to sign it and everything, keep it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was nice to, to go out and play nine holes with him and just get to get to chat with him and, and see see how he was, he was playing those those nine holes. He's different, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's a really nice genuine bloke as well. So it's nice nice to see that side of him. But I mean, the way he plays, like, is there is he one of those that you look at, like, what well, I can take stuff from his game almost? Pretty much, yeah. With um, Obviously with him being so aggressive off the tee and, and driving at miles. Um, like one of the strong points of my game is driving, apart from the last one. Um, <laughs> He's in there. <laughs> and, um, and it was just nice to see like how he was playing the course and I was sort of following what he was doing and, and just getting a few tips off him. Anyway, good luck where you put your drive here. Right. I'll, I'll see you on the green. <laughs> I, I might need your help, Ryan. Yeah, I'm coming over. I'll let Ryan go first, see where he goes. Oh no, he's at a good one. Oh. Let's play, let's play. I might as well pick up. Oh. That's that gym work, Ryan. So this is why I'd putt, because you're a good player, you're going to pitch it 30 foot short and let it skip up? Uh, yeah, something, something along those lines, hopefully. Let's see what you're doing. What club have you got? I've got pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. Yeah, so I'll land it just, just short of the, uh, the slope. And then uh, release it up, hopefully. It's gonna sit too quick in it. Oh no, he hasn't. He oh. hasn't. Oh! <laughs> had a look. I had to. Oh, he's got it. Hit it. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I can barely fit my hand in to pick it out. <laughs> what was it? Just on, just on a pile of dirt or something? Yeah. Three fifty seven, he reckons he can knock it on. Oh, I tell you what, I, I tell you what. what. <laughs> Coming back to two up. We're talking about Rory, he has his mate on the bag now, but do you think it kind of helps when you're away together for so long that you yeah. kind of get on well? I think I've got the best of both worlds because obviously he's professional, I'm professional, but then sort of walking in between the shots, we can have a good laugh, chat about things back home and other friends and best And do you think worlds. as a mate, he's not afraid to kind of uh, be honest with you? Oh no, that's, that's, him, that's him full stop. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll definitely, definitely tell me. He'll call you out if you're getting a bit diva. Yes, and I think I think I need to be a bit more like that to put him in his place, to be fair. <laughs> and maybe, maybe I will be. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be fair to him, he's not diva. He picked us up from the train station earlier. There's not many tour pros that do that. And now he's putting the flag in the green <laughs> with his little with his little trolley. <laughs> Thumbs up, fire away. Tell you what, be the right club. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, it's hit hollow time. <laughs> it's hit hollow time. <laughs> Hmm. Hit hollow time. <laughs> I'm seeing that in as well. Jesus. Huh? Oh yeah, that. I'm not surprised. The hole looks about an inch wide. <laughs> this is big. It is massive. Unlike the hole without a cup in it. <laughs> oh, you read it properly. I have. I'm automatic from this distance. <gasps> oh, straight in the middle. In the back of the straight. dirt. Back, back to all, all square. Yep. Oh, jeez. So how long did you say, how long have you had that min, the mini spider in? Since uh, I put it in week of Wentworth. And how come you got that one as opposed to the other one? Well, I, I had the, the, the normal spider before. Um, and obviously it's a bit bigger and the, and the weight's further back than the other one. And this one just helps me release it with the weight being further forward than the, than the bigger spider. And, you, and, you've, and you, is it something you're getting used to or have you putted well with no, it? No, if... It's, 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 helped, it's helped everything with my, with my putting. Um, the putting stats have got better and better e each week, so it's been uh, been a big help. What's the kind of thing that you've got better at then? Um, probably specific? probably the hole and out putt, so that's sort of... Six foot? Yeah, even, even like 10 foot and in. Yeah. Um, but again, sort of the, the 15 to 25 foot is where I need to sort of improve, because obviously you need to be making... That's your birdie putts. Yeah, you need to be making one or two of them. Um, and you're saying the the, the hole in out putt is since you've had this putter in the bag, or just over the it's, last? It, it, it's been a gra uh, gradual like progression, but definitely over the last few weeks since been having the spider mini, and it's it's definitely helped because it helps me release the putter better and, and get it get the putter, putter square to the ball. Right, where are we going? So all it's all square a, now. Yeah, so it's a it's par five, dog leg right. You get another shot here, shock. <laughs> um, <laughs> You just want to hit, well... I'm so you were chirpy up the first, and now you're going, oh, shock. Yeah, it's because you didn't have any shots on the first couple. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just a 90 degree dog like right. You just want to hit something down to the end of the fairway, then go on from there. Or slice it around. So with that, slice it around is what I'll do. So with that, now you've got it in the bag, yeah. you'll use it off a lot of tees? Yeah, it, off, off a lot of tees and into the par fives, because obviously you get that high, high soft flight of it. Yeah. Um, you can hit it low, you can shot shape it, so it's, it's ideal. Yeah. So it's, I got like the the two iron, the skinnier version, which we're using around the around the links course, so the, the low gapper, um, and then also I carry a five wood as well, so I'll pick between the three. Well, you flip between weeks, depending, or well, especially between links and yeah. the rest of the season. Yeah. So obviously, the last couple of weeks on the links courses for like, well, France was not links, but it was quite oh. firm, and then Ireland, Scotland, the Open, I used the the the, the two iron, so the the gapper low, and then I was using the five wood last week in in Hamburg just because it needed the higher flights going into the par fives and, and out the rough. Do you play with your wedges at all? No, I, I tend to keep them, so uh, 58, 52 in the pitching wedge and then play around with the, 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 like the five woods high and clubs. the two irons, yeah. Well, that is high but straight. That is perfect. Ugh. Oh, he's absolutely flushed it. Just kick down or something. Oh, I've overcooked Too it. Much. Oh no. Get your hand out. Oh no, that's how that's OB. Is it dead? Yeah. Better hit another. Oh, Look at this. No. Two holes back and they slinging them out of bounds. I've never been so nervous. <laughs> Take two. Swinging. That's what I should have done the first time. I just walked 50 yards past my ball. Don't know. Duh. Right, no. Jesus oh. Christ. Went for it. Gave it a run. Right, well, you can pick it up. Yeah? Yeah. That's nice. Candy on the move. <laughs> <laughs> just share it off. It's nice then to put it on a... Um... Fuck that, we're moving up forward. Yeah, I was going to say, your back swing's nearly on a bank, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, good shot. How do you kind of, do you just try to be yourself and just, yeah, I'm, just not I'm, really change no matter what happens? Yeah, that's, that's the worst thing that can happen if someone changes and comes just because of the success they've had that they end up changing and becoming a different person. But I think I'm, well, hopefully I'll be always quite hum humble and be myself and not get too arrogant or anything like that. Do you have plenty of people to keep you? Uh... Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
You I'll, say, oh yes, very light, who's well, that? Well, my, my parents would be for one, and I know my girlfriend Ellie would probably be the same. Um, what would happen to you, they'd just go, shut the hell up, Jordan? Yeah, she's like, what, what, what are you saying? What, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and Harry would be another one, for sure. Yeah. It'll, uh, it'll peg me down a, a notch or two, but... Um, like the people at the golf club? Yeah, no, uh, they're always very supportive, of these guys, so I think... I think they'd be happy enough to, <laughs> to say a few words. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, it's great here because I've got great following and lots of them have helped me out in the past. So I'm always going to be very humble to them for, for the help they've done with me, sort of financially for a few tour schools when I was turning pro and, and just their support. That's a massive thing, right? I guess you never forget that. No, definitely. Yeah, it was sort of going from... Well, even the last year of being an amateur, I wanted to play a few different tour schools to get that experience. I played Sunshine Q School, Asian Q School, European Q School, and obviously not working and being a full-time golfer, um, only getting the funding from my parents, there wasn't a lot, a lot of money for me to go and do these. So a few of the members here chipped in and, and gave me that, that, um, that privilege to go and, and, and do that and get a bit of experience. Oh. Chin you up. said that was all right there. Absolute chatting shit. I, 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 I thought it kicked left. <laughs> I, I wish I would have seen that because I would have given you some shit. You're fine there, he said, off the tee. <laughs> yep. Back, back in play now. Ideal. Advantage Smith. <laughs> What's the maddest animal you've seen on a golf course? I've not asked any of the golf pro that question in america or somewhere or in oh, when i went out to to florida um when my girlfriend and her parents went and played golf um a couple of times with her, her dad and there were these alligators that were 20 foot long just on just roaming the golf course and i'm there like just getting as far away from them as i can you've seen that dude what's his name cody gribble the pga tour <coughs> dude he just, just like taps, taps it. it yeah oh, i I'd definitely never, would be doing that i wouldn't even be on the they same were, side they were so big as well yeah, it's mad out there. They just kind of just that's their habitat, right? They yeah. just roam around. That's it. Yeah, they they use that sort of thing. Whereas here, you might get. Did they actually put you off your shot if they're close? If you're playing a tour event and there's yeah. one close. It was, it was last week. I was shocked by a water hazard, and um, there was Trout. like there was no there was, there was just like geese. <laughs> oh. And you know what they're like? You get too close, they're like. <sighs> so I was there trying to play a shot, and there's this geese like coming at me. So you just hit it and run. <laughs> get out of there quick. Oh, oh, is it a draw? It. Is it pulled a draw? It. Yeah, I pulled it. Kick right somehow. <sighs> Pressure's on now. The pressure is on. One up, but John's hit his drive like a mile down here. It's kind of not fair, but him being able to do that shot. <laughs> oh, that's got to go. 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 Oh, it's hit a... Hit a hollow time. Hollow time. <laughs> Break. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's hit a hollow time and gone in. Good hole, good putt. Thank you. Let me just get it out. The sun. There <laughs> we go. It's rank putting your hand in there together. All square, two to play. Oh, this is what it's all about. We've only, we've, we've only one shot left. Yep. Oh, I've duffed it. Go hard. I think, I think you've got it there. No, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, that's why you take more club. Ah, oh, oh, it's tracking. Stay up. Oh. Oh, it's, this is a big final hole now. It's massive. Let's see now. All square, final hole shot for Ryan. He's got no choice but to take the driver. He needs birdie. He's <sighs> feeling good. Oh. Is that good that. or a bit right? Stay there. No, that could be absolutely spotty dog. Spotty dog? Go on, say that. Oh, I think so. He's aroused by that one. That's, that's where I was aiming. Oh Whoa. no, the pressure's got to him. Watch it down. Oh, you might want it provisional. This sounds like a, like, a, not a fanboy question, but how cool is it playing in majors? Oh, it's, it's 
brilliant. I, I love it. Obviously, like, for me, that's like the ultimate playing in those majors. And to play my first one last year and get top 10 was just like out of this world. Um, just the whole week. I mean, you fly in, get to the airport, they just chuck your keys to a car for the week. Um, and we had like a really nice house for the week with the, with the whole team staying there and just just had, had a really good laugh the whole week and then didn't, didn't really um, go into that week with too much like expectations or pressures or anything like that. Just went there and enjoyed it and had, had one of the best weeks of my life. And do you, do you ever t- kind of take a chance to take stock that like not even probably 18 months before you're playing Euro Pro? Yeah, no, like... I'd, I'd like I'd never think about it. I'd, I'd like have to pinch myself and be like, look, I'm actually at a major, and it's it's only been like you said, 18 months since I was playing Euro Pro. So I just hope that it gives a bit of influence to the other guys that are on Euro Pro that it can be can be done if you keep keep grinding, keep pushing, that you can go up from Euro Pro, Challenge Storms, European Tour, and well, look at look at Tour Hat, and he's done pretty much the same. And then you played the Open, and. You're playing in the same field as Tiger Woods. Mm. What's that like? Did, that you take, all... did you get a selfie? No. No, um, the players did, didn't they? Yeah. He was, he was, he was, I think he was only three groups ahead of me. I remember I was on 16 on the, on the Friday and he was coming on 18. And I just thought, you know, I'm going to turn around and just watch him for a bit. So I just, just watched him play last and it was just brilliant. Like the crowds there and everyone cheering, roaring for him it was just brilliant. Yeah, I was watching him as well, not you. <laughs> I don't blame you. No. Well, we'll play a bit better and you can do Taylor Made out with him. You know? Where's your ball? Oh, look out. Who's, who's been down there trampling it down? Is that your dad giving me life? <laughs> <laughs> God, you've seriously got away with one there. Absolute lie, flicking in. I need a Bushnell. <laughs> Is it 150? See ya. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just down he's here. Bushel, he's bushed on me every hole until <laughs> the end when he's just off down the fairway. So you've got to guess it now, Ryan. You're on your own. Oh, I finned it right. <laughs> Don't mind it. Oh, oh, oh. Eight foot past, isn't it? Oh, that's halfway in that's it. In. Go! <laughs> Sand and... Ah! Those hollow tines. I know. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an actual lip of a golf hole. That, that was a good job, it hit it. What, look at the mud. Or else that was, that was gonna hit the camera. You can, uh, you can have that. Come on! <laughs> I might go jump in the lake. Threw it away with a free putt. Cheers, well, thank played. you. That was a great game. It was a pleasure of playing on those greens. <laughs> Good enough. Sorry I'm late. Are you, are you ready now? Uh, just give me five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Alright, okay.